Hi, welcome to Tech Ed. Now, Tech Ed at West Sylvan can be one of the most fun classes, but can also be a little dangerous because of all the power tools. However, if you can work effectively, Tech Ed can be one of the most amazing classes you'll ever take. So I'm going to show you what you should do and what not to do in Tech Ed. Rule number one, know what you're doing. In other words, stay on task. The first thing you need to do is log in as a technology student. You just click on the symbol next to technology. There is no password required. The second thing you need to do is look for the Tech Ed How To Videos folder on the desktop. Double click that and all the videos will show up. If you want to search a video, search it in the search bar. For example, Birdhouse. Your vid video will show up. You just have to double click it and make it full screen right there and then play it. Make sure that you watch a lesson plan whenever you do a project. You don't want to end up like Homer Simpson here. Oh, come here, kid. Come on, fit you. I'm here. Yeah, that's one fine looking barbecue pit. Why doesn't mine look like that? Rule number two, eye protection. Can I get some eye protection? Oh yeah, sure. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, you see, I just gave Joe some eye protection. Now you want to wear eye protection every time you go into a workshop. Because unexpected things may occur, like this. <laughs> Rule number three. Never enter a restricted area unless you have permission. Okay, now in Tech Ed, there are four restricted areas. Mr. Gilly's workstation, Mr. Gilly's office, the checkout counter, which is allowed for TAs only, and Mr. Gilly's personal area in the workshop. Now, the reason you can't enter these areas is because they are restricted. They're allowed only for Mr. Gilly and sometimes TAs. When in doubt, make sure you look at the yellow tape by these restricted areas. Therefore, you know where to go and where not to go. Rule number four, be safe. Whether in the workshop or not, Tech Ed is always the place where you should be safe. To be safe means that you're being responsible. And if you're responsible, then you can participate actively. Here are some examples of what you should not do. Running, jumping over somebody. Tech Ed is always a place where you should keep your hands to yourself. Don't punch, touch, or push anybody anywhere. Please don't throw random objects at anyone. Do not use a tool unsafely, inappropriately, or without permission. In other words, don't hammer in a nail with a screwdriver. And never sit on one of the tables in Tech Ed. You could break one of the table legs and the table could collapse. Rule number five, always report an injury to the teacher. When you get hurt, Report an injury to the teacher so we can provide medical attention. <laughs> hey, Joe! Hey, Joe! I, I dare you to touch that for, for five seconds. I'll give you a quarter. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay, do it! Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh! Ah, ah. Rule number six. Use computers for proper use only if obligated. What are you doing watching these videos, bro? What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of here! Get out of here! Rule number seven. Pay attention to your tool and wait by it after you turn it off. When using a tool in the workshop, focus at the task at hand. Make sure you pay attention because you don't want to slip or anything because you could hurt yourself really badly on one of those power tools. You want to focus and make sure that your hand is nowhere near the blade or the sander or the drill bit or whatever you're using, because you always want to be safe in Tech Ed. Okay, so you want to make sure when you're using a power tool for whatever project you're doing, you want to turn it off as soon as you're finished using it. Turn it off and then wait by it until it stops moving. This is because uh, someone could back into it or they could touch it on accident. It's happened in the past so we don't want it to happen again. Rule number eight, always clean up after yourself. At the end of every single day, there's going to be a cleanup time. Now, during cleanup time, there are normally six or seven different steps that you need to follow. And by steps, I mean jobs. You will be assigned with one of each. Rule number nine, no food or drink with the exception of bottled water. 
There's one last rule in Tech Ed, and that rule is no eating or drinking, except for bottled water, because we don't want it to spill anywhere or get smeared on any piece of equipment. You don't want to be this kind of person. Mm. Hey, bro! Hey, bro! No! No! Make sure you remember that if you disobey any of these rules, you'll get in... Thank you for watching. I hope you found these rules informative. Please do your best to act safely in technology education. Thanks. Starring Kai Helberg, Joe Kortenhoff, Mason Dawes, and Tate Coors.